Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's start talking about the probability density functions of a particle inside a finite potential well. We are already familiar with the actual wave functions inside the well. Now what do the probability density functions look like? Now we have a different name for them as well. We can call them the probability distribution functions or the probability density functions. All they are is simply the wave functions squared for each of the energy levels. That way you can see that if this is the wave function, then we can see that if we square that wave function, we get what we call the probability density function or the probability distribution function. Here for the energy level equals uh, n equals 2, we can see that this is what the wave function looks like, but when we square it, we get something that looks like this. And if we take this wave function here and square it, we get something that looks like that. Now this is these wave functions are proportional to the probability of finding a, par a particle there. Not the actual probability, but proportional to the probability. In order to get the probability of a function within a certain region in a finite well like this, you have to actually normalize the function, integrate it and normalize it, so that when we integrate over the entire distance or the entire width of the well, it's equal to 1. But at least the shape of these functions are exactly the same as the shape of the probability of the finding the particle in that particular location. So you can see for energy level 1, for energy 1, or for energy where n equals 1 we should say, we can see the highest probability will be right in the middle. For energy 2, we can see that the probability is highest at these two locations right here and less over here, and the probability will be higher over here when, equals th when n equals 3 for the third energy level and so forth. So you can see that again, just like with, a fi with an infinite well, we have the similar patterns except that here the, the waves will just go a little bit farther, and yes, there will be probability of finding the particle outside the region 2, in other words, inside the barriers as well, and we'll talk more about that at some later videos. But now at least you have a good idea of what the wave functions look like and the corresponding probability density functions.